Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto discovers the secrets of Zemzem water. Science has now revealed new secrets about Zemzem water and the way water is influenced by the verses of the Quran. It has now been scientifically proven that water is affected by what is recited over it. Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto first began experimenting on water after he had read that each snowflake falling from the sky is unique. He wanted to disprove this theory as his scientific instincts told him that this could not be true. The geometric shape of the snowflake is determined by its chemical composition. The composition of water is well known, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So how can snowflakes that fall from the sky be different from one another? He said, I was determined to prove that this theory was false. So he built a laboratory consisting of a deep freezer with a regulator because no liquid subjected to a sudden freezing can assume a geometric shape. The freezing must be slow so the atoms have the chance to crystallize into the shape decreed by God. He set up a deep freezer with a regulator, a cold room at a temperature of minus 7 degrees Celsius, and several microscopes equipped with the cameras so he could photograph the snowflake before it melted. He said, I took samples from two faucets in the laboratory. I froze them and each sample gave me a different snowflake. The samples came from two different wells, two different rivers, from two different lakes. A Muslim later introduced Dr. Emoto to Zemzem water so he could experiment on it. Emoto took a sample of Zemzem water and said, I couldn't crystallize it, even by diluting the Zemzem water with distilled water. He finally managed to crystallize the Zemzem water after diluting it by 1000, one drop of Zemzem mixed with 1000 drops of distilled water. And he got a uniquely shaped crystal. Two crystals were formed, one on top of the other. Mr. Emoto's colleague said that the two crystals could be due to the fact that Zemzem water is composed of two words, Zem and Zem, Allah knows best. Masara Emoto said, my Muslim colleague offered to play Quranic verses over the water. He bought a tape recorder and played some Quranic verses and we got the most perfectly shaped crystals, subhanAllah. These are actual images of the crystals that were formed after the verses of the Quran were played. Dr. Himoto was also told that Muslims recite Bismillah, which means in the name of God, before drinking water. This has been practiced by Muslims since the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The word Bismillah was found to improve the quality and the structure of even regular water. Alhamdulillah. Dr. Emoto completed these experiments which lasted 15 years. He published a five volume book called Messages from Water. He wrote, I have proven that water is capable of thinking, fathoming, feeling and expressing itself. The following was written by Dr. Masuri Emoto. The quality and purity of Zemzem water will not be found anywhere else on this earth. He did a lot of research on Zemzem water and found that if one drop of Zemzem water is mixed in 1000 drops of regular water, regular water will increase in quality similar to Zemzem water. The minerals in one drop of Zemzem water were far superior to any other water he had tested. He also found that the quality of Zemzem water could not be changed. Even after he recycled the Zemzem water, there was no change, it was still pure. For those who are unsure of what Zemzem is, we will explain briefly. The Zemzem well was revealed to Hajar, the second wife of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. By the instruction of God, Ibrahim السلام, left his wife and son at a spot in the desert and walked away. She was desperately seeking water for her infant son, but she could not find any way. As Mecca is located in a hot, dry valley with few sources of water, Hajar ran seven times back and forth in the scorching heat between the two hills of Safan Marwa, looking for water, getting thirstier by the second. Allah sent the angel Jibreel السلام, who struck the ground with his wing and the Zemzem water rose from the ground. A similar story about a well is also mentioned in the Bible. Ibrahim السلام, rebuilt the house of God, the Kaaba near the site of Zemzem well, a building which had been originally constructed by Prophet Adam peace be upon him. Today, Muslims from around the globe all face the Kaaba in prayer five times a day. The Zemzem well is located approximately 20 meters or 66 feet east of the Kaaba.